Hello, everybody. Welcome back from lunch. I love the enthusiasm. We're super excited to get into our next match. Starting us off for this match, we have Team 5484. From Career Academy South Bend, they're the Wolf Pack. Joining them in green, we have Team 5188. From Vigo County High Schools, it's Area 5188 Classified Robotics. And rounding off their alliance for this first match after lunch, we have Team 868. From Carmel High School, it's the Tech Hounds. Over on the blue side of the field, we're starting off with Team 3452. They're from Berrien Springs, Michigan. It's the Green Engineers. Joining them, we have Team 1501. From Huntington, Indiana, it's Team Thrust. And finally, for this first match, we have Team 6498. From Castle High School, it's Castle Robotics. Okay, let's get this started. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. We're returning from the lunch break with an exciting match. Both alliances attempting a multi-game piece auto. We're gonna see some competition for those rings on the inner center line. It's now time for the teleoperated portion of this match. 1501 and 5188 are competing for that note in the center of the field. A68 has a note loaded up in the robot. They're gonna try to score that into the amp to amplify their speaker. 5484 collecting a note from the red, uh, blue alliance side of the field. They're throwing that over to the red alliance side of the field so that their alliance partners can score those points into their speakers just like 5188 just did. 64, 94, 98 are over by that amp. They're going to try to score some points. 54, 84 traversing the blue side of the field. Not a lot of defense being played in this match. We can expect to be a fairly high scoring match here. About a minute, minute 25 left to go. The Red Alliance is trying to go for that melody ranking point. They're currently at 11 out of 18 notes required. It's currently 34 to 42 favoring the Red Alliance, but it's still a very close match. The Red speaker is now amplified, meaning each note scored into that speaker is going to be worth five points instead of two. 5188 scoring a note, 868 scoring a note. That's a lot of points, taking full advantage of that amplified speaker. 3452 scoring a note on the Blue Alliance side. 1501 going for that trap. They do successfully score five points for their alliance. They're now climbing off of that chain. They're going to try to score another, another trap here in a few. A68 scoring that point into the high note. 5484 still playing out that strategy of, strategy of feeding their alliance partners. Allowing them to score already 81 points in this match. And 1501 successfully completes their second trap. They have 16 seconds left in this match if they're going to try for another one. 5188 looks like they're trying to score maybe one more note into that speaker. 
A68 is up and they complete the trap. 1501 and 3452 both get to that stage. That is the match. We'll have our final scores here very soon. The scores are in. Your winner for that match is the Red Alliance. With a score of 91. Bid 484, 5188, and A68 will receive three ranking points for that match. Two for taking the win and one for that Melody ranking point. All right, let's introduce our next set of teams. Starting us off, we have 7454. From North High School in Evansville, Indiana, they're Huskies on Hogs. Joining them, we have 5402. From Logan Sport and Lewis Class High School, they're Reckless Robotics. And finally, we have team 4926. From Columbus North and East High Schools, it's Galactic. All right, moving on to the blue side of the field, meeting our blue alliance. Starting us off, we have team 8564. From Princeton Community High School, it's the Disco Ducks. Joining them here in the center, we have team 8116. From Washington High School, it's Hatchet Robotics. And finally, we have team 234. They're from Perry Meridian High School, it's Cyber Blue.
All right, it's time. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. We now begin the autonomous portion of the match where points scored are worth extra. Both alliances attempting to score some notes into that speaker. Forty-nine twenty-six, collecting a note from that center line as we begin the teleoperated portion of this match. They're going to score that into their speaker. Remember, the teams are not just competing for points and winning the match. They're also trying to get ranking points, which, as the name suggests, determines their ranking in the overall competition. They get two ranking points for winning the match. They can get one ranking point for achieving a melody, which happens when you get at least 18 notes scored into the speaker. And there's also a ranking point for getting enough stage points if you have two of your Alliance members climbing onto that stage. And this match is currently 39 points to 11 favoring the Red Alliance. Both teams have completed the cooperation bonus, meaning the threshold for a melody, that's the ranking point, has been lowered to 15. The blue speaker is currently amplified. That means notes scored are going to be worth five points instead of the typical two. Some defense is being played on the Blue Alliance side by 74-54. 85-64 scoring a note into that speaker. 54-02 grabbing a note from the Red Alliance source. They're bringing that over to their side of the field. And just like that, they successfully score into that speaker, gaining their Alliance an extra two points. 55 seconds left to go in this match. Both alliances getting some full field cycles in. Collecting from their source and bringing it back to their alliance side. 234, scoring a note into their speaker. Picking up another one immediately afterwards. And they score that one as well. 4926, going for that amp. They're going to try to amplify their speaker. Red Alliance has currently 18 notes in that speaker. That's going to get them that ranking point. Blue Alliance is currently one note away from that ranking point. Red speaker is now amplified, increasing the amount of point values for each each note scored. Those amplifications last about eight seconds. Human players, you can see, trying to throw those high notes onto the speakers, onto the microphone, sorry. And they're going to climb with the last few seconds left in this match. Two, one. And that's the match. And the scores are in. The winner is the Red Alliance. With a score of 77 to 47. They'll be taking home three ranking points in that match. Two for the win, one for a melody. The Blue Alliance will be coming home with a ranking point themselves for scoring 15 points into the speaker.
All right, let's meet some teams. Starting off on the Red Alliance, we have Team 9554. Competing in their rookie season, it's Career Academy from Career Academy South Bend. It's the Portage Pythons. Joining them here in the middle, we have Team 8430. From Washington High School, it's the Hatchbatch. And finally, rounding off the Red Alliance, we have Team 4485. From Danville Community High School, their Tribe Tech Robotics. And then over on the other side of the field, we have Team 9491. From Silver Creek High School, it's Crypto Creek. Joining them here in the center, we have Team 4008. From Pike Central High School, it's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. And finally rounding us off, we have Team 1747. From William Henry Harrison High School, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. My fellow Swifties everywhere, that was great. All right, but we are ready for this next match. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. The autonomous portion of qualification number 16 is now underway. 1747 going over to that center line. All the robots on the blue alliance has left the starting zone, scoring some points right in the beginning of this match. We are now at 14 to 11, favoring the red alliance as we head to the teleoperated period. 1747 scoring a note into that speaker and quickly picking up some more notes around their alliance area. 44, 85, and 95, 54 are both trying to score some notes into that red alliance speaker. Still a very close game, only separated by two points. 1747 going over to their speaker area. They've got that note loaded up. Quick cycle. 8430 has just delivered a note into their amp. Neither team has activated the cooperation bonus, so they're going to be going for amplified speakers.
Some defense is being played at center field by 95-54, trying to prevent 17-47 from making it through, but they do just narrowly escape and score a note into their speaker. That's two points for the Blue Alliance. Currently 25 to 23, still a very close match. Every single note is gonna count in this one. About 54 seconds left in this match. Forty-four, eighty-five, taking a note from the Blue Alliance side of the field. They're going to bring it over to the Red Alliance, but they're being played some amazing defense by 4008, preventing them from getting through. They do just narrowly escape. About 30 seconds left in this match. Currently 34 to 29, favoring the Blue Alliance. Both teams have scored 10 points in their speakers. 20 seconds left in that match, which means the human players are going to start throwing those high notes onto the microphones. All three Blue Alliance robots are at the stage. All three Red Alliance robots are at the stage. Five seconds left in this match. 94-91 have made off the ground. 17-47 has made off the ground. And that is time. That was a close match, but the scores are in. The winner is the Blue Alliance. Taking home the victory with a score of 43 to 36. They received two ranking points for that match. Hey there, everybody. I just want to make a quick announcement, make sure everybody's on the same page. We have a bunch of really awesome roundtables happening at this event. The first one is starting in just about five minutes at 2.30 with the LGBTQ plus of first roundtable. Later today, we have uh, from four to five, a women in first roundtable. And from 5.30 to 6.30, a rookie quick build roundtable. So if any of those sound interesting to you, definitely head on over there. I know they're going to be some really great conversations. Thank you.
All right, let's meet our teams over on the red side of the field. Starting us off, we have Team 7657. From New Tech Institute in Evansville, Indiana, they're the Thunderbots. Joining them over on the red, we have Team 1720. They're a community-based team from Matthews, Indiana. It's Fixed Gears. And finally, over on this half, we have Team 9453. From Mount Vernon Senior High School, they're the Mount Vernon Wildcats. Over in blue, starting us off, we have Team 3890. From Bloomington High School South, they're breaking away. Joining them, we have Team 3947. From Knightstown High School in Wilkinson, Indiana, they're the Last Crusaders. And finally, we have Team 3176. From Brownsburg High School, they're their number two ranked team. It's Purple Precision. All right, let's keep this energy going. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. As the autonomous period begins, we'll see there are three notes on each alliance wing and then five notes aligned in the center of the field. Those center notes are essentially first come, first serve to which whatever alliance can get to those notes first. We'll see who takes them as we begin the teleoperated period. 3176 grabbing a note from that center line. 9453 trying to grab some for themselves. Thirty-eight ninety trying to score some points into that amp. 3176 as well, gonna follow that up with a note into that amp. Score is now twenty-two to to 24, advantage Blue Alliance. It's a super close match. Looks like 3890 is playing some defense on the Red Alliance, gonna try to slow down their cycles, prevent them from scoring some points. Looks like 9453 is currently disconnected. We'll see if they can regain control as this match goes on. There's still a minute 15 left. They've got plenty of time. The score is 24 to 24. It is a tied game. Lots of traffic on the blue side of the field as 3176 attempts to score, and they do score a note into that speaker, giving their alliance the advantage in this match. You can hear the roar of 3947's note launcher. They're going to try to score a note into that speaker, it looks like. Looks like a note has somehow managed to land on top of the speaker. That's impressive. 40 seconds left in this match. It's still anybody's game. The Blue Alliance has scored eight points into the speaker. The Red Alliance, seven, and now eight. It's super close. There's about 25 seconds left. That means it's almost time to start climbing. You can see 39.47. Going try to try to go on stage. Human players are now going to try to throw those notes onto the microphones. And the, the Blue Alliance has successfully spotlighted 39-47, and they do climb, scoring their alliance extra points. Two seconds left in this match, and there's time. All right, the score is in. Your winner is the Blue Alliance.
with a score of 41 to 32 points. They'll be taking home two ranking points in that match. All right, it's time to meet our next team, starting off strong with Team 3559. From Jasper High School, they're the Thundercats. Joining them in the center, we have Team 868. From Carmel High School, it's the Tech Hounds. And finally, in red, we have Team 7454. They're from North High School, they're Huskies on Hogs. Over across the field, we're starting out with Team 2197. From New Prairie High School, it's Las Pumas. Sorry. I'm tripping. And joining them in the center, we have Team 5402. From Logan Sport and Lewis Cass High School, it's Reckless Robotics. And finally, we have Team 8564. From Princeton Community High School, it's the Disco Ducks. Have a thumbs up, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Oh, hold on just a second. All right, we're ready this time. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. All right, our robots are off for take two of the start of this match. 10 seconds left in the autonomous period. Both alliances are scoring a lot of points into those speakers, 5402, collecting those three notes on their side of the field, 868. 
lined up to score another point as we begin the tele-operated period. 74-54 going over to their alliance side to load in at the source, and their human player does deliver a no on to their robot. 868 lining up for that speaker. Just bounces out, but I'm sure they'll try again. 21-97 scoring a point for the Blue Alliance. Score is currently 29 to 24. It's anybody's game. Both teams have completed the cooperation bonus, which lowers the threshold for a melody down to just 15 notes that need to be scored in that speaker to get each alliance a ranking point. 5402 following up 29-97's uh, point into the speaker. Oh, and they just yoink a note from that red alliance source. 868 traversing the field, going along that center line. They're going to make it over to the Red Alliance source. And they use their ground intake mechanism to pick up a note to bring it back to their side of the field. 35-59, playing some defense on 5402, trying to prevent them from getting through to the Blue Alliance side of the field. A little bit of a traffic jam with 74-54 and 21-97. But they make it away and score a point for the Blue Alliance. Scores 37 to 38. Super close match separated by just one point. It is anybody's game. Lots of defense going on on the red side of the field. Both 21-97 and 54-02 are being held up by 35-59. 30 seconds left in this match, and the blue alliance speaker is amplified. That means every note scored in that speaker is going to count for five points. Both teams are just about at the Melody ranking point. Score is 56 to 44. It's gonna come down to the climb. Those human players are currently trying to spotlight their Alliance robots. Two robots are up for the Blue Alliance. Two are up for the Red Alliance. And that is the match. All right, the scores are in for that last match. Your winner is the Blue Alliance. With a score of 63 points to 52. They'll take home two ranking points for the wins, and both alliances will take home a ranking point for achieving a melody. That's 15 notes scored into their speaker. All right, Washington, we have a slight change to the student roundtable that's going to be at 5.30 today. The Washington Hatchets will instead be discussing their sponsorship, recruiting, and recognition program. So you can absolutely come learn how to get and keep sponsors and build those relationships. So if that's something that interests you, definitely head over there at 5.30. It's going to be in the choir room, so definitely go check it out. Thank you.
Okay, who's ready to meet some teams? Starting us off, we have team 8116. From Washington High School, it's Hatchet Robotics. Joining them in the center, we have team 1501. From Huntington, Indiana, it's team Thrust. And finally, we have team 9491. From Silver Creek High School, it's Crypto Creek. Over across on the blue side of the field, we have team 3452. From Bering Springs, Michigan, it's the Green Engineers. Joining them here in the center, we have team 1747. From West Lafayette, Indiana, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. And finally, we have team 4485. From Danville Community High School in Danville, Indiana, it's Tribe Tech Robotics. Right. All right, teams, make some noise. It's time to get started with this match. We're ready, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match 19 is now underway. Team 4485 and 3452 scoring some notes for the Blue Alliance. Team 1501 collecting a note from on their alliance side and then going over to that center line and making it back to their side and scoring maybe one more. We now begin the tele-operated period of the match. 44-85, collecting a note from the center line. They're going to bring that back to their line side. 94-91, playing some defense. Trying to prevent 45-85 from getting through. 17-47 has a note loaded up in their robot. They're bringing it over to their speaker, and they do score it. That's two points for their lines. 15-01 with their robot thunderstruck. They're picking up that note from in front of their speaker. Going to bring it over to the amp, and they do successfully score it. 81-16, making it over to the Blue Alliance side of the field. Grabbing a note from that Red Alliance source. 15-01, picking up a note. Going to bring that over to their amp. Scores currently 44-30. to Favoring the Blue Alliance. Lots of collisions going on on the blue side of the field. 1747. It looks like they have a no stuck in their robot. They're going to shoot that out and try again. 4485 picking up a note from that blue line source. About a minute left in this match. Still only separated by 10 points. It's anybody's game. Blue lines are just three notes away from getting that melody ranking point. Just score two extra notes, making it just one now. 44-85 and 81-16. They having some collisions on the center of the field. Some good defense playing by 44-85. 15-01 going over to that red alliance source along with 94-91. They're both going to bring those notes over to the red alliance field. Looks like 15-01 is climbing up that stage. Going to try to get a note into that trap. Which they do. 
20 seconds left in this match. Those human players are going to throw those notes. Oh, and the Red Alliance human player successfully lands a note on the Red Alliance stage. 1747 is up. Five seconds left on in this match. And that is time. These scores are in for that last match. Your winner is the Red Alliance. Taking home with 75 points and 72. It's a super cl close match separated by only three points. Red Alliance will be going home with three ranking points, two for winning that match and one for the stage bonus. The Blue Alliance will also be receiving a ranking point for completing a melody. Okay, it's time to introduce our next Red Alliance. First up, we have Team 3947. From Knightstown High School in Wilkinson, Indiana, it's the Last Crusaders. Love the enthusiasm. Joining them here in the center, we have Team 5484. From Career Academy in South Bend, Indiana, it's Wolfpack. And finally, rounding us off, we have Team 1720. They're a community-based team from Matthews, Indiana. It's Fixed Gears. Over in blue, we have Team 234. From Perry Meridian High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, it's Cyber Blue. Joining them in the middle, we have Team 3176. From Brownsburg High School in Brownsburg, Indiana, it's Purple Precision. 
And finally, for our Blue Alliance, we have Team 9554. From Queer Academy South Bend in South Bend, Indiana, it's Portage Pythons. All right, let's kick this match off. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. The first 15 seconds of this match will be autonomous, as always, 3176. Scoring some notes into that Blue Lions speaker. Looks like 5484 is trying to collect a note of their own. We now begin the teleoperated portion of the match. 234 grabbing a note from that center line. 5484 and 9554 competing for a note as well. 9554 scooping a note outside of the Red Alliance source. 5484 grabbing a note from their line side and scoring in this speaker very quickly. Looks like 9554 is going to be playing some defense in this match. 1720, that's fixed gears, just playing in center field, trying to prevent 234 from getting by. 234 just barely escapes. They're now making over to their amp, going to try to amplify their speaker. Blue Alliance has selected the cooperation bonus. 1720 and 5484 getting in a tight encounter with 234. 234, that's Cyber Blue. They're collecting a note from the Blue Alliance source. 3176, they're your number two ranked robot going into this match. They're currently navigating around some of those Red Alliance robots. Going over to the Blue Alliance source. 5484, your fourth ranked bot. They're collecting a note from the Red Alliance source. We've seen them employ the strategy of throwing notes over to their alliance partners in other matches, but in this match, it looks like they are scoring for themselves. About 50 seconds left in this match. It's currently 49 to 35, favoring the Blue Alliance. Two thirty-four and thirty-one seventy-six, both scoring into that amp. Blue Alliance has scored 18 notes. That means they will receive a ranking point for completing a melody. 25 seconds left in this match, which means pretty soon we'll see some robots heading over to the stage. However, the Blue Line speaker is amplified, so they might try to get some more notes in before they climb. 3176 is using their multi-hook climber design to get onto that chain. You can see those human players throwing those notes, and the Blue Alliance does spotlight 3176. And that is the match. The scores are in for that match. Your winner is the Blue Alliance with a score of 60 points to 51 points. They'll be taking home three ranking points in that match, two for the win and one for a melody. Red Alliance will also be taking home a ranking point for the stage.
Okay, it's time to meet our next round of teams. Starting us off, we have team 2197. From New Prairie High School in New, Carsley, New Carlisle, Indiana, it's Las Pumas. Joining them in the middle, we have team 5188. From Vigo County High Schools in Terre Haute, Indiana, it's Area 5188 Classified Robotics. And finally, for our Red Alliance, we have Team 9453. From Mount Vernon's Mount Vernon Senior High School, it's Mount Vernon Wildcats. Over on the blue side of the field, we have three teams, all sponsored by Toyota of Indiana. Starting us off, we have Team 7657. From New Tech Institute in Evansville, Indiana, it's Thunderbots. Joining them in the center, we have Team 6498. From Castle High School in Newburgh, Indiana, it's Castle Robotics. And finally, we have Team 3559. From Jasper High School in Jasper, Indiana, they're the Thundercats. All right, we're ready. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Qualification match 21 has begun. 51-88 scoring a point for the Red Alliance. 64-98 scoring a point for the Blue Alliance. And they're going over to that center line and try to collect some extra notes in the last few seconds of the autonomous period. The score is 24 to 21 favoring the Red Alliance. Twenty-one ninety-seven, collecting a point from the Red Alliance wing. Thirty-five fifty-nine, collecting. Looks like they're maybe playing some defense on ninety-four fifty-three. Fifty-one eighty-eight, using their quick drive train to traverse the blue alliance side of the field, grabbing a note and bringing it back to their alliance side. 76-57, navigating over to the Blue Alliance amp. And they do successfully score that point for their alliance. Score is now 24 to 32. Red Alliance is in the lead. About a minute 20 left to go in this match. 51-88 throws the note far, but they're going to go back and try again. Some collisions going on on the blue line side of the field as 35-59 defends 51-88. 76-57, scoring a point for the blue alliance. Fifty-one eighty-eight is able to navigate around the defense of 35-59. And now there's a bit of a traffic jam on the blue line side of the field. About 30 seconds left in this match, which means pretty soon we'll see these robots going over to their stage. Some major collisions going on in, on the blue line side of the field. Those human players are attempting to spotlight their alliance partners. The blue alliance gets one note onto that microphone. 76-57 and 64-98 are both docked on their stage, and that's the match. We'll have the final score soon, but it is very close.
All right, we have our scores for that very close match. Your winner is the Red Alliance with a score of 46 to 43 points. They'll be taking home two ranking points for that match. The Blue Alliance will be taking home one. That was an awesome match here at the Washington District event brought to you by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University. Hey, we're back with some more robot action for this next qualification match. Starting off there, out of this world, 49-26. With students from Columbus North at Columbus East High Schools, it's Galactic. Their alliance partners having a total mental breakdown. It's 38-90. All the way from Bloomington, Indiana, with their robot Tony, it's breaking away. And rounding it off, these looks, this, these disco ducks are ready to dance. It's 85-64. Sponsored by Toyota, Nike Tech, and Gravel Wealth, it's the disco ducks. Or on the Blue Alliance side, uh, chopping away at the competition. It's 81-16. From Washington, Indiana, it's our home team, Hatchet Robotics. They're friends with a new and improved Disco Defender. It's 4,008. With students from Pike Central High School in Petersburg, Indiana, it's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. And rounding out one of our host teams looking to hose down the competition, it's 84-30. Sponsored by Toyota and Washington Community Schools, it's the Hatch Batch.
Like Taylor says, I'm feeling 22. So let's kick this match off in three, two, one, crescendo. Welcome to qualification match 22. The member of the first 15 seconds is completely autonomous and pre-programmed. 49, 26, usually a high performer during this time. Stuck just waiting on that note to enter their ground take climb system. 81, 16, hoping to do the same. Not a lot of points scored during that time, but lots of available during the rest of the match. Blue Alliance is kind of our home alliance today. 84-30 and 81-16, both from Washington. That's where we are this weekend. But keep a close eye on 85-64. They've got Michael Quaxon is the name of their robot. They're successfully scoring into their area. Four thousand eight. That's the disco dust currently sitting underneath the stage. The stage is that large metal contraption with three chain links on either side. As we get close to the end of the match, teams can choose to climb on any of those sides, but they need to be elevated completely off the ground for three points each. Forty nine twenty six will be a high scorer in this match. Able to quickly pick up game pieces and deliver them into their speaker, not so much as an amp placer. Both teams agreeing to cooperation. That's that handshake icon on the screen. That's lowering the threshold from usually 18 to 15 required for that rank point. Scores currently 13 to 28 in favor of the Red Alliance, but plenty of points remaining still in play. Eighty-four thirty is the hatch batch. That's the freshman and sophomore team here at Washington High School. They've been playing around a lot with a human player station known as the Source and currently getting heavy defense on by 3890. That's breaking away from Bloomington, Indiana. That bumper on bumper contact is allowed as long as that contact is kept to a minimum, but 45 seconds do remain in the match. Scores have not changed that much since we last looked at them. 8116, that's Hatchet Robotics, has that unique trapezoidal shape of their bumpers. They're hoping that allows them to sneak into different situations that you might not expect. Most of the robots in that defensive position during this match, trying to prevent their opponents from scoring as much as possible. 20 seconds, we've heard that guitar riff. We'll start to see human players tossing those rings. They have until the end of the match to do so. Their goal is to get it spotlit or get hung on top of that note. Blue Alliance and Red Alliance both making great successes, but bouncing just off. As time windle dows, we'll start to see a couple climb, but that will be all for qualification match 22 here at Washington, sponsored by Vincent's University in Toyota, Indiana. Here are your scores for the last match. It's the Red Alliance with a score of 38 to Blue on slice 31. We have violation of G424. That's contact in the last 20 seconds. So that'll give the Blue Alliance so, uh, 10 penalty points in their favor and also give them that ranking point. But Blue Red Alliance still able to pull off that win with 38 points. That's two ranking points for them. Thank you for that amazing update, Bryce, on the last match yours. We do have a quick announcement for the audience members. Audience members, if you can hear me, please put one hand up. If you can put your other hand up. Now take one of your hands, put it in your, your, your pants, and pull out one of those phones. Show me your lovely phones. 
right? These phones are amazing pieces of technology. They also have something called hotspots on them. Yes, hotspots, the ability to project Wi-Fi throughout the entire building. And that's right, kill our robots on the field. And you know what we don't like, dead robots. So we'll ask you, please take a moment and check if you have a hotspot and please turn it off. We have these lovely things called hotspot sniffers, which I wish were dogs, but are not. And we will come find you if you do not turn off your hotspot. Please, again, turn off your hotspots. Thank you very much. Let's introduce our teams for qualification 23. Now, first off, this team here, blasting off to the future with not their first, not their second, but currently their third competition this season. It's 1501. Their 4-H team from Huntington, Indiana. It's Team Thrust. This next team has a very unique uh, streak right now. They are currently, for the last five competitions they've been to, they've been the very first ones at the door every single time. That's it up for 5484. With students from Career Academy South Bend in South Bend, Indiana, it's the Wolf Pack. And rounding out this alliance, they ain't just a tribe, they're the whole dang family. It's 4485. With students from Dan Mill Community High School and sponsored by Duke Energy and Waste Management, it's Strive Tech Robotics. Now over on the Blue Alliance side, seeing all the glorious ways to the top, it's 1720. Their community-based team from Matthews, Indiana with their robot Noodlebot, it's Fixed Gears. Having won the last competition, they're lurking to win yet again, it's 868. They're here to inspire, engage an event from Carmel High School, it's the Tech Hounds. And they're coming out harder than a gopher with a sledgehammer. It's 5402. Sponsored by Inmac, FCA Foundation, Logan Sport Memorial Hospital, and Ironmonger Springs, it's Reckless Robotics. We have a thumbs up from our FTA drivers behind the line. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. 868 and 1501, Team Thrust and Tech Hounds are the ones to keep your eye on during this autonomous period. Both are usually high performers during the first, first 15 seconds pre-programmed. 868, the Tech Hounds already grabbing a couple of notes and delivering them swiftly into the speaker. Remember, everything worth during that time is worth more, especially those speaker notes, five points each. As we enter the teleop period, human players picking up the controls at their robots a boat over the past 12 weeks. A City Tech Hounds already getting defended on by 4485. That is allowed as long as the contact time is kept to a minimum. Both teams quickly, swiftly scoring. 5484, that's Career Academy Wolfpack, delivering notes in an unconventional way, shooting them over the field and allowing their teammate, 50 to 1 Team Thrust, to deliver them quickly either into the switch, or, sorry, into the speaker or into the amp. 
Amp notes during this time, all worth one point. The speaker, it can be worth two or five if they're amplified. Blue line showing off what it's like to be amplified right now. Each of those score during the amplified period is worth ten, five points. Blue line's matching those scores, currently 39 to 28 in favor of the Blue Lions. Neither team agreeing to cooperation just yet. That opportunity is now passed. You have to do that in the first 45 seconds of the match, I believe. So both teams needing 18 notes scored in either receptacle to get that extra rank point. Both of these teams competing, all these teams competing, want that ranking point average as high as possible. 1501 T Thrust lining up in front of their speaker station, making use of those LEDs to indicate to their drive team the current status of their robot. 1720, that's fixed gears on the blue and land side, trying to cause as much havoc as possible, trying to prevent their teammates from scoring, or sorry, their opponents from scoring. Currently 50 seconds training match score, 51 42 in favor of the Blue Alliance. Plenty of time to still change that score, though. Let's check in on 1502. That's Reckless Robotics featuring those rainbow LEDs in the center of the field. We'll see lots of that action as teams try to cross diagonally to score additional game points, as many as possible. They're trying to keep those cycle times as low, trying to score as much as possible. 30 seconds reign the match. A lot of teams using their short field to allow themselves to fit under the stage, that metal area. We'll start to see them climb here in the last 20 seconds as we hear this riff. We'll start to see human players trying to get those notes on top of their stage. If they're able to successfully mark that, that's an additional point for their alliance. 1501 Team Thrust successfully delivering a note into the trap there. Team 868, the Tech Hounds just shy. It looks like they're going to set that one out as we exit the time here. A qualification of match 23, sponsored by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University here at the Washington event. Here are your scores for that last qualification match. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score 64, two points different from blue. The Red Alliance taking those two ranking points for winning the match. And that's about it for qualification match 23.
Let's introduce our alliances. Starting off, looking to storm that castle, it's 6498. With students from Newsburg, Indiana, it's Castle Robotics. Their alliance partners, it's 234. With the robot Encore from Indianapolis, Indiana, it's Cyber Blue. And rounding it off, running away from that boulder, looking to chase for that goal, it's 3947. They're from Knightstown High School, it's the last Crusaders. Over on the Blue Alliance side, faking the moon landing, not once, not twice, but three full times. It's 5188. Their robot's name is Gonk, and their area 5188 classified robotics. Their alliance partners, Dragon's Reply. It's 9491. With students from Silver Creek High School, it's Crypto Creek. And drown it off. Did you know that purple frogs are the poisonous? It's 3176. Sponsored by Beckman Coulter, Carrier Corporation, Cornerstone Industries, Wells Global, and Wells Global's West. It's purple precision. We have a thumbs up for our FDA drivers behind the line. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. The autonomous 14 fifth and second period is the only time robots can get points for movement alone. 51.88 exiting that blue line and coming back in. Can get movement points. Red Alliance sitting pretty. 234 doing lots of the work for their team. Trying to shoot that last note for additional points for their Alliance. Scores currently 39 to 12 in favor of the Blue Alliance. A lot for the Red Alliance to come back from behind. But plenty of time in the match to change that. 34 47. That's the last Crusaders. Their robot's name's Wellston. Their opening score as many game pieces as possible, along with the rest of their opponents and team members. Lots of red bumpers colliding in the center of the field. 64 98. Not blinking with their comm radio, so I'll have to check on them in just a bit. 94-91, what a mouthful. They're making their way across the field slowly but surely. They've changed out their front wheels to be mechanic wheels since we last saw them at the previous competition. That's going to give them a more advanced maneuverability around the field instead of just straight-up tank wheels. 234, Cyber Blue, that Indianapolis team delivering now a note into their amp. Both teams already agreeing to cooperation. That's lowering the threshold from 18 notes usually now to 15. Making it a lot easier to get that ranking point for both teams. Cooperative competition. Red Alliance now amplified. That's cost them two notes in the amp, but that means every previous note scored now into the speaker for that team during their 10 seconds are now worth five points each. 3176, Purple Precision, a high ranking team usually in the Indiana competitions, making their way swiftly around the field using their mechanism and low profile, allowing them to slip just under the stage. The stage again is that metal structure with all the chain. 53 seconds reigning, the match scores currently 60 to 30. That cooperation bonus is in action. 5188, that's Class Side Robotics there, Terre Haute, Indiana team. Swiftly jittering across the field, trying to deliver that note they have stored away. Many teams will probably start climbing here in the last couple seconds. Scores currently 62 to 34 in favor of the Blue Alliance. We hear that guitar riff. We'll start to see those specially marked notes flying all over this, the area. Their goal is to get it on top of the stage, and those note. Taped notes cannot be scored by robots, so teams will usually start climbing. The higher they climb, they're trying to get three points for each elevated robot. Red Alliance trying to come back. 234 already elevated. Two robots up on the Blue Alliance. That's all for Qualification Match 24, sponsored by Indiana, Toyota, and Vincennes University here at the Washington event. Here are your scores, qualification match 24. Your winners are the Blue Alliance.
With a score of 79 to Red Alliance's 42. Blue Alliance getting three ranking points. That's two for winning and one for melody. Actually, both teams getting that melody ranking point. That's 15 notes in this case scored in any receptacle. Most teams moving up in the rankings. And actually, 94-91 maintaining that first rank position. Good job, rookies. Time to introduce our teams for qualification match 25. Starting out, hopping their way all the way to the top of the bamboo, it's 1747! With students from William Henry Harrison High School in their robot Yorgaminder, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. Next up, did you know that the bark of Ponderosa Pine smells like Oreos? It's 94.53. From Mount Vernon, Indiana, Mount Vernon Senior High School students, it's Mount Vernon Wildcats. And rounding off this alliance, they really, really, really like robots. It's 21.97. Sponsored by Helmet Aerospace Foundation, New Prairie United School Corporation, and Cleveland Clits Tech Tote, it's Las Pumas. Over on the Blue Alliance, running amp cycles uh, faster than your grandma goes and gets soup when you're sick. It's 84.30. One of our home teams for this weekend from Washington, Indiana, it's the Hatch Batch. Their alliance partners back from a trip around the Milky Way galaxy to earn a new banner. It's 4926. From Columbus, Indiana, in the Columbus North and East High Schools, it's Galactic. Tech. And rounding off with a robot that is 118 Oreos tall. That's not even double stuffed. It's 7657. Flying to action on this field from Toyota Manufacturing and NASA, it's the Thunderbots. We have a thumbs up from our F drivers behind the line. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. The first 50 seconds pre programmed as usual. Eyes keep your eyes on 2197. That's Las Pumas. Their McKenna drives allow them to move perpendicular to their velocity movement. 4926, also high performer during this time. Their camera, Swift camera suite allows them to deliver notes into the top part of the speaker. Five points that, during that time if they were successful. As we move to the teleoperative period, human players pick up the controllers that their team built over the past 12 weeks. The scores are as follows one note point for those in the amp, two for the speaker, and five if amplified. If they want that amplified state, they're going to need to deliver two of those notes into the amp. Score is currently 26-21 in favor of the Blue Lions, but there's still two minutes, plenty of time to change that. 
Let's take a look at our team. 1747, that's Harrison Boiler Robotics. There's a team up in the West Lafayette area having some issues with their drown pickup mechanism, but plenty of opportunities to pick up game pieces from different places around the field. Namely, the Source, now we've exhausted all the game pieces that started there at the beginning of the match. They'll have to pick up it up from their human player stations. The tricky thing is that the pickup and the drop-off are diagonal from each other on this year's field, so a lot of bumper-to-bumper -bumper action. We're seeing that currently with Team 8430, trying to prevent their opponents from scoring as much as possible, trying to keep that score low while letting their teammates get that score higher. 4926 sitting on just outside of their collection area, known as the Source. Remember those game pieces, those orange rings are known as notes in this musically-themed game this year. 7657, that's Thunderbots from the New Tech Institute. Interesting setup at their high school there. Lots of advanced manufacturing that they're able to sneak into their robot. They have a large gear mechanism this year, allowing them to move their entire collection system. They're able to swiftly pick up from the ground using the source and then deliver it to where they see fit. 50 seconds remaining the match. Scores still pretty close at 34 to 31 in favor of the Blue Lions. Neither team really close to that threshold, and they haven't agreed in cooperation to lower it, so they need 18 of those notes to score that extra ranking point. Only 35 seconds left to meet that criteria. Like we were seeing earlier, lots of bumper and bumper action in today's match. As we near the last 20 seconds, we'll hear that guitar riff. We'll start to see human players trying to deliver those extra special notes on top of their, their stage, that metal structure. And we'll start to see robots climb. Three points for every robot elevated off the ground at the end of the match. And additional points if they climb together or if they can deliver a note into the trap. 76-57 wedging themselves just shy of the end of the match. End of qualification 25 here at Washington, sponsored by Vincennes University and Toyota of Indiana. And here are your scores, qualification match 25. Your winners are a tie. Scores of 40 to 40, even across the board. So they'll split that win ranking point. So one ranking point for each of the tie teams. Nothing in melody or ensemble. So they'll split that winning tie. Lots of points in the speaker, but really the stage at the end tied them up. Stick tight for qualification match 26.
In qualification match 23, there was a missing tech foul. So now that's been added to the score, and that has changed the outcome of the match. So let's see the scores now for qualification match 23 with that included tech foul. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. Scores 67 to 64 now. So again, that tech foul changing the scores of the match. Your Blue Alliance now receiving the two ranking points for winning that match. Stick around, we'll get to the next match here shortly. That's match 26. It is time for qualification match 26. Let's introduce our teams on the Red Alliance. Starting off with the winners of the best Backstreet Boys lip syncing impersonators. It's 95-54. With students from South Bend, Indiana, it's the Portage Pythons. Their Alliance partners, the best backward drivers in the state, it's 34-52. All the way from Barron Springs, Michigan, their robot tow mater, it's the Green Engineers. And rounding out this alliance with a double rock on their rock, paper, scissors, it's 35-59. Sponsored by Toyota Mania Manufacturing in Indiana, Crane, Navasi, and Jasper Engines, it's the Thundercats. This team, Mama told them their faces would stick like that if they didn't stop, but they didn't listen. It's 3890. From Bloomington, Indiana, with their robot Tony, it's breaking away. Can we get a yee-haw for these Huskies? It's 7454. With students from North High School in Evansville, Indiana, it's Huskies on Hog. And rounding out this alliance with moves all the way from Montana, it's 4,008. Spots by Toyota, Andy Mark, Art Schoolies Foundation, Alloy Animation, and Petersburg Hardware. It's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. We have a thumbs up for FTA drivers back behind those lines. Let's start this off in three, two, one, crescendo. During the first 15 seconds, robots are completely pre-programmed and everything's worth a little bit more points. 4008 demonstrating what it's like to just barely cross that line for two of those movement points. 3559 Thunderbots also just crossing that line for additional movement points, two of points each. Red Alliance able to successfully deliver a couple of notes during that time, getting extra points for their alliance, but the time is not quite out yet. 
nearly uh, 130 seconds. That's just over two minutes for robots to change the course of this game. The robots are controlled now by their human operators that their team built over the past 12 weeks. 3890 breaking away from Bloomington, Indiana. That's a team in purple on the Blue Alliance. Lining up for that note on the ground. We'll have to see what they do with it here in a moment. 7454, that's Huskies on Hog, also on the Blue Alliance. Successfully demonstrating what it's like to pick up a note from the human PlayStation known as the Source and get defended. However, using their short drive mechanism, they're able to slippily slit underneath the stage. Lots of S's in that sentence. 4,008 playing around with a note here on the center of the field. They're hoping to slide that over towards their alliance station to potentially score it for their alliance. Red Alliance shooting in quickly two notes into the top part of their speaker with two points of those each. 80 seconds remaining in the match. Blue Alliance amplifying their speaker. That means every note scored during this 10 second time is worth additional points for their alliance. Score is currently 34 to 19 in favor of the Red Alliance. Let's take a look at what's on the field. 34 52. Making quick use of their drive mechanism to move around the field. Lots of teams in this match not using a swerve drive. That gives them additional uh, torque in their motors to push robots around. 35-59 waiting patiently to attack anyone who tries to cross on the scoring table side of the field. Same as that with 4,008. So not a lot of points scored in this match as teams are doing lots of offensive maneuvering to prevent their opponents from scoring anything at all. As we wind down, went to that 20-second time period with that guitar riff. And we'll start to see those tape notes flying all over the field. Their objective is to land on that post to increase the amount of scoring points for robots underneath it. The Blue Alliance trying to line up multiple teams and successfully landing a note on the top part of their spotlight. Blue Alliance trying to get elevated now. Same with the Red Alliance. It's three points for every robot off the ground. Just about running out of time here for Qualification Match 26. Sponsored by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University here at the Washington event. And here's your scores qualification match, 26. Your winners are the Red Alliance with a score of 76 to Blue Alliance is 29. Lots of points difference there. Red Alliance taking the two ranking points for winning the match, but surely none in the melody. That's what you need for notes and none in the encore in the climb ending stage there. So we'll have to stick short for qualification match 27.
Our teams for 27, starting off for 74 sponsors and 140 students, and only one of two robots here who can trap. It's 868. With the robot remix from Carmel, Indiana, it's the Tech Hounds. Their alliance partners, the Castle Crustaceans, it's 6498. With the robot Leonardo da Vinci, it's Castle Robotics. And rounding out this in, in a million alliance, these purple frogs looking to wreck some havoc. It's 3176. With students from Brownsburg High School and sponsored by Beckman Coulter Carrier Corporation, Cornerstone Industries, it's Purple Precision. Over on the Blue Alliance. They're requesting two Krakens. It's 234. They're focused on exceeding the known limits with their robot Encore. It's Cyber Blue. Their alliance partners chopping away at the competition. It's 8116. One of our two home teams from Washington High School. It's Hatchet Robotics. And round out this alliance, the Barcode Barbarians. It's 4485. From Danville, Indiana, it's Tribe Tech Robotics. We have a thumbs up from the FTA. Drivers behind the lines. Let's start this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. First 50 seconds pre programmed as usual. 868 the Tech Allen, and 234 Cyber Lou. The teams to watch during this time. Remember, all the notes scored are worth five points in the speaker, and I believe it's three or four additional points in the amp. Most teams going for the speaker, though, just because it's a lot easier to shoot at with the mechanisms of this year. As we exit the autonomous period, it enter the teleoperated scores currently 22 to 29 in favor of the Red Alliance. That's only seven points difference. That could be two notes scored in the speaker during the amplified period. It can be amplified if they score two notes into the amp. However, for the first little bit of time, teams are able to cooperate in competition. Cooperation, that's that handshake icon you'll see up here. Now that both teams have actually done that, they've lowered the threshold from 18 to 15 for the additional ranking point. The higher the ranking point average, the higher they'll rank in the competition. The Blue Alliance now using that amplified two extra notes to score additional bonus points during that 10 second time. I didn't see any notes go in, so they'll probably save that again for another play. Score is currently 32 to 36 in favor of the Red Alliance. Only a few points difference. Remember, every point scored into the amp is worth one point, but you can use that to amplify it. 44, 85 causing ruckus down in the robot arena trying to have as much as bumper and bumper action, trying to prevent their opponents from scoring as much as possible. Team X68, a bit taller than the rest of the competition, has to go around the stage, making them a little bit easier to defend, but the swerve drive is no match for their opponents, swiveling around their competition. 234, Cyber Blue, trying to minimize that cycle time as much as possible. They're trying to pick up a game piece and deliver it quickly as possible to score as much game pieces for their team. Blue Alliance now just one point away from that ranking point. I believe they just got it. Red Alliance also matching them. The score is still pretty close, 48 to 48 with 40 seconds remaining the match. It might come down to the end game to see how things are doing. 64, 98, already elevated off the ground. That's three points for their Alliance. They're potentially setting up for a double climb on that chain. We'll have to see as we enter the end game. 3176, Purple Precision, making use of their low profile to head under the stage, trying to deliver a couple of notes as we enter the last bit of the match. 868, the Tech Hounds, with their well-known trap score, they're trying to fit one more note into that stage area. Teams need 10 points. That's, again, 10 points in the stage final area to score additional points, rank points for their Alliance scores, currently 56 to 52. We'll have to see how these scores total up here at Qualification Match 27, sponsored by Indiana Toyota at Vincennes University here at the Washington event.
Your scores are ready for qualification match 27. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. Tight match, score 62 to 57. Only three points difference between the winner here. Three ranking points for the Blue Alliance. That's two for winning and one for the Melody. That's the extra points with the notes. Stick tight for qualification match 28. Let's introduce our teams for qualification match 28. First off, faking the moon landing, not once, not twice, not three, but four times now. It's 5188. With the Robot Park Studio 11 from Terre Haute, Indiana, it's Classified Robotics. Air Alliance Partners with Double Ducky Trouble, it's 8564. With students from Princeton Community High School, it's the Disco Ducks. And rounding it out, getting ready to blast off, it's 15.01. They're a 4-H team from Huntington, Indiana, with their robot Thunderstruck, it's Team Thrust. Some of the courteous adventurers we have out on the field, it's 39.47. With their robot Smith Ann Wilson, it's the Last Crusaders. Next up, this team really, 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 really likes robots. It's 2197. They were district event finalists at Mishawaka. It's Las Pumas. And rounding out this alliance, they're cooking up some chaos. It's 8430. Sponsored by Toyota and Washington Community Schools, it's the Hatch Batch. Oh, you do this. Thumbs up from the FTA. Drivers behind the line. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. One of qualification match 28 free program for the first 15 seconds as usual. 1501 and 5188 are usually high performers during this time. They had to be careful not to go too far or potentially get penalty points for violating different areas of play. 1501 staying precisely on the red side of the field. 5188 showing their ability to adapt to different movements around the field, potentially going just a little too far. We'll have to see how those points stack up during the match. 8730, that's the hatch patch, I believe. That's the older of the home teams here. Sister teams, so that we've got two teams from uh, Washington, Indiana. Both from the same school. 5188 Classified Robotics, a bit far from home in Terre Haute, Indiana, but they're able to deliver their game pieces just as swiftly as usual, making use of their swerve drive to move around the game field with nimblety. 2197, in contrast, has the two mechanic wheels, allowing them to deliver game pieces in a similar mechanism at cheaper costs. Just takes a little bit more advanced programming efforts on their part, but they're able to maneuver almost as swiftly. 
8564. That's the Disco Ducks, I believe. Got their robot Michael Quacks in. Named it in order to stick with their ducking theme. Their goal is to deliver game notes on their side of the field so that their potential alliance partner can pick those up and play. And remember, it's three high schools or community teams against three other teams. So not only are they competing with each other, but also working with each other. Pretty cool. About a minute remaining to match scores 30 to 51. Just got jump stared by the hatchet and match god behind me, but we're going to keep going on. Team 1501, that's Team Thrust, delivering a note into their speaker for two points. It is amplified, so it's actually worth five points. They're using that LED mechanisms to alert their drivers about the current status of their robot. Love to see LEDs out on the field. Thirty-nine forty-seven. Last Crusader sitting pretty just outside of their drive mechanism. Fifteen oh one delivery note into their trap. A difficult thing that not a lot of teams in Indiana can do. That's worth five points at the end of the game. That won't be added to their score quite yet, since that's counted manually. Twenty seconds remain. We'll hear that guitar riff. Human players will start tossing those extra special notes. Their goal is to try to to, to get on the post. Additional point for their team. Teams now trying to get elevated off the ground. If they are up there at the end of the match, it's worth five points, or sorry, three points for every elevated robot. An additional two if there's multiple on the same chain. That's about all for qualification match 28 here at Washington Events, watched by Vincennes University and Toyota of Indiana. And here are your scores for that last match. The Red Alliance taking it with a score of 72 to Blue Alliance is 35. Getting three ranking points. That's two for winning and one for plenty of points in the stage. I believe the threshold there is 10. So they got 12. Well enough over to get that additional ranking point. All right, I hate to cut the Taylor Swift, but it's time to get into our next match, starting us off strong with Team 4008. From Pike Central High School, it's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. Joining them in the middle, we have Team 9554. From Career Academy South Bend, it's Portage Pythons. And finally, give it up for Team 5402. From Logan Sport and Lewis Cass High School, they're Reckless Robotics. Over on the blue side of the field, we're kicking it off with Team 3452. From Berrien Springs High School in Michigan, they're the Green Engineers. 
Joining them, we have Team 9453. From Mount Vernon Senior High School, they're Mount Vernon Wildcats. And finally, we have Team 4926. From Columbus North and East High School, is their Galactic. Okay, we have a thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. All right, the first 15 seconds are autonomous as always here in qualification match 29. All the Blue Alliance robots have left their starting zone and 4926 is bringing home a note and they're gonna try to shoot it into that speaker. We now begin the tele-operated portion of the match where the score is 21 to 16, favoring the Blue Alliance. 49-26, delivering a note to that amp. That's one of two places they can score notes, the other one being the speakers. The teams receive one point for putting a note in the amp and two points for putting a note in the speaker, the higher goal. However, if a team scores two notes into the speaker, into the amp rather, they can amplify their speaker. That increases the points value scored for each note to five. It's a very close match so far, 31 points to 24 for the blue and red alliance respectively. Lots of traffic in on the red alliance side of the field. 4008 is playing some defense, trying to prevent 4926 from making their way on through. Looks like 3452 is delivering some notes over to the Blue Alliance field so their alliance partners can pick them up and score. Forty nine twenty six and thirty four fifty two each scoring some points for the Blue Alliance. 5402 has their grand tech intake out. They scoop up a note from the Red Alliance source, as does 5954. About 45 seconds left in the match. The Blue Alliance speaker is amplified, meaning notes will count extra. The score is 39 to 32. Still anybody's game. It looks like it's going to come down to the stage at the end of the match. Looks like 94, 59, 53 rather, is coming in for a climb. You can see that hook extending from the top of their robot. 4008 is off the ground. Looks like 4926 is coming in for the climb. And their human players attempting the spotlight. And that's the match.
All right, it is time for your scores for the 29th qualifier match. It's the Blue Alliance taking home the win with a total of 49 points. Their alliance will take home two ranking points for that match, which will boost their rankings here at the Washington District event. Brought to you by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University. All right, everybody, we have a very special guest who's going to be helping announce this next set of teams. Please give it up for Hatch. All right, Hatch is going to announce our first set of teams. He says that we're starting out with Team 5484. From South Bend, Indiana, it's the Wolfpack. Joining them, number two, Hatch says that we have Team 3559. From Jasper, Indiana, they're the Thundercats. And finally, Hatch says that we have Team 3890. From Bloomington, Indiana, they're breaking away. All right, Hatch, we're moving over to the Blue Alliance. Over here on the blue side of the field. Oh, we're doing a detour. Got to say hello to the camera. All right, Hatch, he says up first we have team 7657. From Evansville, Indiana, they're the Thunderbots. And in the middle, Hatch has the flag. We're with team 1747. From West Lafayette, Indiana, they're Harrison Boiler Robotics. Hatch has the final flag. He says it's time for Team 74-54. From Evansville, it's Huskies on Hogs. Give it up for Hatch, everybody. All right, a big thank you to that special guest. Now let's kick off this match. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match number 30 is now underway. Both alliances starting off the match strong with some points scored into those speakers. 76-57, picking up a note from the blue line side of the field and scoring it. That's an extra five points for their alliance. The score is 29 to 14, favoring the Blue Alliance going into the teleoperated period. 1747 picking up a note from the center line. 7454 going over to that Blue Alliance source. We can see 5484 on the Red Alliance. They're the Wolf Pack, and they are feeding some notes over to their Alliance partners on the red side of the field. 7657, one of our Evansville teams. They're go bringing a note over to the blue side of the field. Going to try to score it in that speaker. 1747 joins them and scores a note as well. 
35-59, playing some defense on 17-47, trying to slow down their cycle as they make it over to the red side of the field. 74-54, just narrowly squeezing between 54-84 and 55, or 35-59. You can see some bumper-to-bumper -bumper defense action in this match. Scores currently 42-22 for the Blue Alliance. Both teams have put in the cooperation bonus. That lowers the threshold for the melody down to just 15 notes. That's right, 15 notes need to be scored into the speaker to earn a ranking point in this match. 1747 is picking up a note. Scored that into their speaker. That's an extra two points for their alliance, and that gets them that melody ranking point. Lots of traffic on the red side of the field. Fifty-four, eighty-four, bringing home a note for the Red Alliance. Looks like they're bringing it over to that speaker, and they do score it high. Looks like seventy-six, fifty-seven is going for the climb. It's about thirty-seven seconds left in this match. Fifty-four, eighty-four, scoring a, po a point in that speaker. They're gonna try to get as many cycles in as they can as the we close out this match. There's twenty seconds left which means those human players can start attempting to spotlight their robots by throwing those high notes onto the microphones. Looks like 5484 has successfully spotlit one of those stages. 1747 climbs, 50. All three Blue Alliance robots have climbed. And that's the match. And the results from that match are in. Your winner is the Blue Alliance. Taking it home with a score of 70 to 40. And it's a unicorn match. Four ranking points for each of the Blue Alliance robots. That's two for winning the match, one for the stage bonus, and one for scoring a melody. We love to see the unicorn matches here at the Washington District events. Sponsored by Toyota of Indiana and Vincennes University.
Hello, everybody. Just real quick before this next match, we have an award to announce. It is the Safety All-Star Award, which is an award nominated by another team. This award is really aimed at creating a culture of safety and how it's meant to honor how that is exemplified by the work and dedication of our team safety captains here. We really want to recognize those individuals who are going above and beyond to really drive a culture of safety here at first, because we all know that is so important. So today's winner is DJ Simmons from Team 2197. Give it up. If you haven't already, if you haven't already, DJ, you can pick up your safety pin from Pit Admin. Congratulations. And without further ado, let's meet our next set of teams. Starting us off strong, we have team 94-91. It's their first season competing in, in first robotics competition, but they are the number one ranked team so far. It's Crypto Creek. Joining them in red, we have team 85-64. From Princeton Community High School, they're the Disco <laughs> Ducks. And rounding out our Red Alliance, we have Team 868. From Carmel High School, they're the Tech Hounds. Over on the blue side of the field, we're starting out with Team 1720. Their community-based team from Matthew, Indiana, it's Fixed Gears. Joining them in blue, we have Team 5188. From Terre Haute, Indiana, their Area 5188 Classified Robotics. And finally in blue, we have Team 3947. From Wilkinson, Indiana, they're the Last Crusaders. While we're waiting, I just want to remind everybody about the student roundtable happening today at 5.30. Hatchets will be discussing their sponsorship recruiting and recognition program, so it's definitely a great place to go if you want to learn more about building sponsor relationships. Again, that's at 5.30 in the choir room. All right, it's time. Teams, make some noise in the stand. It's time to count us off. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Notes are flying high at the start of qualification match 31. 51, 88, using their multi-ground pickup system to score, it looks like, three notes into that speaker. A68 also traversing the field to grab some notes.
The robots are now driver controlled for the rest of this match. The score is 29 to 24, favoring the Red Alliance, but it is anybody's game. 5188 scores a note high for the Blue Alliance. That's two points for their team. 9491, your number one ranked bot has a note loaded up. It looks like they're going to bring that over to the amp. Seventeen twenty, traversing the field with a note. They're delivering it to their alliance partners to try to score into that speaker. Ninety-four, ninety-one, successfully delivered that note to the speaker. Score is currently thirty-eight to twenty-eight, favoring the Red Alliance. That could change really quickly, though, as we've seen it happen here at the Washington District events, brought to you by Toyota and Vincennes University. 3847 playing some defense on A68 and 9491. 1720 making full use of their swerve drive to prevent 9491 from making it over to the red side of the field. About a minute left in this match. The Red Alliance is just five notes away from a ranking point if they can score those in the speaker. Those ranking points help determine their overall rank in the competition. 5188 making quick work of some of these game pieces on the Blue Alliance side of the field. About 40 seconds left in this match. The score is favoring the Red Alliance by about 15 points. 15 points. Lots of action as we close out this match. You hear the guitar sounds, that means it's time for those human players to start throwing those high notes onto the microphones. Seventeen twenty, using their two-bar climbing mechanism. All the Red Alliance robots are off the ground. And that concludes our match. And your winner of that match, the Red Alliance. With a score of 71 points to 53. And they're taking home four ranking points in that match. Two for the win, one for the stage bonus, and one for achieving a melody.
Okay, let's meet our next round of teams. Starting us off, we have team 4008. From Petersburg, Indiana, it's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. Joining them, we have team 2197. With their robot, who's your hurricane? It's Las Pumas. And finally, for our Red Alliance, we have team 234. Currently, your third ranked team, it's Cyber Blue. Thank you. All right, moving over to the blue side of the field. Starting us off, we have team 9554. From Career Academy South Bend, it's Portage Pythons. Joining them in blue, we have team 9453. From Mount Vernon, Indiana, it's Mount Vernon Wildcats. And finally, rounding off our Blue Alliance, we have Team 8116. With their robot it's Hatchet Robotics. Robot, it's, it's time to dance. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Rocking this autonomous mode. Robots moving fully autonomous for this quals match at 32 right now. High shot from 2197. 234 coming forward with a note from midfield. They're not going to shoot it, but still, this will be to their advantage as they will have an extra note in their robot to immediately start off the teleop phase starting now. 16 to 9 in favor of your Red Alliance. Two minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. Do a quick review of the game for people who might have just recently joined here in person or on Twitch. Robots currently connecting those orange rings on the field. Those are called notes and working on scoring them up in the high goals and the low goals. Now a little bit of fight on center field right now for those notes as robots attempt to get the faster cycles through the center of the field. 234 going to dump a note into the amp. That down low is going to give them one point and start building up the amplification. Amplification is when two a robot has a chance to score two notes in the amp. They can then shoot high for five points instead of two into the upper speaker. One minute, 30 seconds left. 25 to 17 in favor of your Red Alliance right now. High shot from 234. They are going to miss. They're going to come back for that. We have a GoPro in the center of the field. They're going to love a little watch of the match there. Minute and 17 seconds left in this match. 30 to 17 in favor of your Red Alliance. Blue Alliance going to need to continue to shoot high. That ro those two robots focusing on shooting up in the speaker since they don't have another amping robot on their side. 94-53 currently playing a little bit of line defense right there along with their partners 4008 with 56 seconds left in the match. Red Alliance is going to continue to try and score to gain their lead. Both these teams trying to get up to 18 notes in their speaker to get an extra ranking point. Eighty-one sixteen, firing a new up high with their robot. Over on the other side near the source, 9554, recently intaking a note through their bottom intake. That robot being fully redesigned for this competition. They're going to try and get another shot off before... That's right, that sound is the rift. Rift means that in these last 20 seconds, robots can start looking to climb on their stages. Additional potential fouls if people take the risky attempts to go and hit robots while they're by their stage. Two seconds left in this match.
Our scores, your winners, the Red Alliance. Red Alliance winning 64 to 31. I'm gonna drop 234 down to that first rank, fourth rank position with only two rank points. However, they're still gonna be up there in the top eight. Congratulations to the Red Alliance winning Qualls match 32 here at the Washington District event presented by Toyota and Vincennes University. All right, who's ready to meet our next set of teams? Starting us off, we have team 4485. From Danville, Indiana, with the robot Gaia, it's Tribe Tech Robotics. Joining them in red, we have team 8430. From Washington, Indiana, it's the Hatch Batch. And finally, we have team 3890. With the robot Tony from Bloomington, Indiana, it's breaking away. Over on the other side of the field, we're starting out with Team 5402. With the robot Supersonic Seymour from Walton, Indiana, it's a Reckless Robotics. Here in the middle, we have Team 5484. Change lives, build robots up in South Bend, Indiana, it's Wolf Pack. And finally, to round us off in blue, we have Team 3452. With their robot Toe Mater from Bering Springs, Michigan, it's the Gringineers. Okay, let's get this match started. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Qualification match, 33 here. Watch over on Blue Alliance side, 5402, going to focus on their four game piece auto that they've been running throughout the day. Not going to quite make the first one. We're gonna try and go for some other game pieces along the way. Two seconds less the match, 14 to 11 in favor of your Blue Alliance. Still anyone's game though. 
Watch out for 5484. That robot, their main strategy today has been to shoot notes over to their side of the field, making it easier for their alliance partners to score more game pieces and harder for their opponents to do the same. I want to move over to their side of the field while 8430 works to play a little bit of defense there. Coming pretty close to that source zone. We're going to need to make sure they stay away from it to try and prevent potential penalties in that area. 5484 going back across the field, looking to take a shot up high into that speaker. High shot, and we have amplified speaker with four notes there, meaning that that alliance is going to be able to start draining them up high during the 10 second period. The all notes are worth five into that high speaker. One minute and 28 seconds left in this match. Atribatch continue to play defense on the blue alliance robots, 36 to 20. Red Alliance, 44-85, looking to shoot a note high. Not quite able to do so. We're going to have to focus right now on shooting into the speaker as their alliance partners are currently in front of the amp. Some heavy hits onto the field as these robots chase across the field to pick up more notes. A minute and four seconds left in this match. Blue Alliance already at 15 of the 18 notes they need for an extra rank point melody right now. 55 seconds left in this match. Hatchet continuing to guard the Blue Alliance from exiting from their source area. However, some masterful driving is going to get them around that. Another high shot from 4402. Again, this Blue Alliance focusing on both amping and then shooting as many notes up high. This would be one of our highest scoring matches today. 30 seconds left in this match. 60 to 22 in favor of your Blue Alliance. And the Blue Alliance did successfully make it to that Melody RP. As we get down to 20 seconds, so robots want to be careful going under their opponent's stage. Robots also can look for climbs right now. Reckless Robotics ending up with two hooks. Eight seconds left. They're going to try and be the first to climb. Or a hatchet's going to actually come off the ground first, then Reckless closely behind them. We have your scores for qualification match 33. Your winners, the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance winning at 71 to 29. It's going to be enough to push Reckless up into the sixth seed alliance with three big ranking points and 57 big speaker points from that amp amp shooting cycling they were doing early on. Congratulations to Blue Alliance winning 71 to 29 at qualifications 33 here at the Washington District event presented by Toyota and Vincennes University.
everybody. And now, a quick announcement from Devin Langley, your MC. Hey there, everybody. I just wanted to let you know and shout out a group of volunteers that we haven't talked about yet today, and that is our fantastic media team. I'm sure you've seen them. They're hard to miss in their highlighter shirts. They're running around the event with their cameras. They have been working really hard collecting all of our different moments from the event, so make sure you scan this QR code so you can check out all of those photos that they've been capturing for us, and make sure you say thank you to them if you see them around the event. Thanks. Commence the cheering again. All right, let's meet our Red Alliance. Starting us off, we have Team 7454. They are Huskies on Hogs. Joining them in red, we have Team 6498. With their robot Leonardo da Vinci, it's Castle Robotics. Next up, we have Team 1501. A blast off with them, their team thrust. Over here we have the Blue Alliance, but actually they're also all in green. We have team 1747. Currently your third ranked team here, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. Our next green team on our Blue Alliance is team 1720. They are fixed gears. And finally, to wrap up this team, we have Team 4926. From Columbus, Indiana, it's Galactic.
While we're waiting, just another reminder that our student roundtable is going to be happening in half an hour at 5.30. The Washington Hatchets are going to be discussing their sponsorship recruiting techniques, so you can learn all about building those relationships and how to maintain that throughout their year, your years as a team. So definitely make sure to check that out in the choir room in just about half an hour. The claw, the It's still a little too chillin' here. Can you guys make some noise? All right, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, thank you for being patient with us. It's time to kick off this next match. Drivers behind the line, 
Three, two, one, crescendo. Starting off this match, watch over on the Red Alliance side at 1501 with one of the strongest autonomous here. Currently working on their five node autonomous to grab four nodes close and take some shots. Blue Alliance, though, 4926 is going to steal that fifth note that 1501 normally likes to shoot. Starting this match at 31 to 20 and fine in favor of your Blue Alliance. 1747 immediately looking to collect the note from the center field. I'm going to try and take those notes over to their side of the field as 1720 starts playing line defense. I'm going to take their time to try and push against 5010, push the note further over to their side of the field. Most of the notes cleared from center field now. We have 35 34 in favor of the Red Alliance. An extremely close match right now. 1501 tries to find their way through the mess of robots over on the Blue Alliance source area. Source of the Deviants crowding, causing a bunch of robots to get stuck all in one spot, making it harder for them to drive around. 39-35 in favor of your Blue Alliance. One minute and 30 seconds left in this match. Red Alliance is ready to amp, which means shots taken up high. If they can hit that button, will be worth an extra Three points, total of five big points right now. One did successfully go high. One of the strengths of this game is the ability to shoot multiple shots during the amp cycle. 6498 going to take one up high. It's going to rocket right ahead to 48 to or already one. One minute and five seconds left in your match. Blue Alliance side, though, going to get, start getting ready their own amp. With that, robots trying to make their way. 1720 currently to shut down 1501. 51 on a taller machine, making it a little bit easier for them to shoot high, but harder for them to get around since the stage is stuck. Multiple robots smashing together in the center field. 43 seconds left in this match, and it is a tie game. 54 to 50 now. Scores continually changing. 50-10 now looking to trap up high. Looking at this a way to get some uninterrupted scoring and also go for a ranking point. 29 seconds left. But 51 is going to drop that note. They're going to have to reset. Still plenty of time with them there. High shot from 49-26. Another two points for them. 1747 currently with a note partially stuck in their intake. 13 seconds left in the match. A three-point gain for the Blue Alliance currently. However, a trap from 1501 is going to be a large swing. 1747 looking for a climb. Five seconds left. And last second shot from 4926. And a total of six big RP scored in this match. Your winner is the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance winning at 74 to 65. Let's close on that. Four big ranking points. That's going to be another unicorn. Allow 1747 to maintain their third rank spot. Galactech jumping up to fifth rank. And it's going to drop down Huskies on Hogs down to the seventh ranked seed. Congratulations to the Blue Alliance winning 74 to 65. Here, Qualls match 34 at the Washington event presented by Toyota in Vincennes University.
We have a brand new set of teams out on the field, so let's meet who's next. Starting us off, we have team 35-59. With their white shield crote from Jasper Niena, it's Thundercats. Joining them here, we have team 9491. Currently, your number one ranked <laughs> team, it's Crypto Creek. And finally, we have team 868. Your number eight ranked team from Carmel, Indiana, with the robot remix, it's Tech Hounds. Over here, starting us off with the Blue Alliance, we have Team 3176. Currently the second ranked team with the robot Frankie the Frog, it's Purple Precision. Joining them here in the middle, we have Team 7657. With the robot Fido, it's the Thunderbots. And finally, we have Team 8564. Currently, your seventh ranked team from Princeton, Indiana, it's the Disco Ducks. Have a thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Immediately starting off this autonomous, both 3176 and 868 going to try and shoot multiple notes up high. 868 going to grab that center note from the middle line and going to shoot that and take another second one up high. Both 3176 and 868 with some advanced vision technology allowing them to actually see their location on the field based on those funny looking QR code things that are called April tags on the side of the field. Now let's take a moment to talk about these teams right now. At the moment, the number one ranked team, Crypto Creek, and their alliance partners, 868, the eighth ranked team, are currently against the second ranked team and the seventh ranked team. This does mean that whoever wins this will probably switch up the spots for who stays in first and who goes to second. Look at our scores right now, 29 to 19 in favor of your Red Alliance. 35-59 currently working to stay nimble over there while they play a little bit of nine line defense, wanting to get in the way of 76-57, but they get expertly dodge around them in order to pick up a note. However, the same is not said for 31-76 and 35-59 able to slow them down. Disco Ducks trying to stay in the middle of the field. Not going to be able to slow up 868, though, as they swerve around them. That swerve drive allowing 868 to move in every single direction on the field. It is becoming more and more popular here in FRC. 41-233 with one minute and seven seconds left in this match. 11 notes scored for both alliances. Still anyone's game. Blue Lines will have to worry, though, about Red Alliance's last second trapping. 868, one of the two more consistent robots at doing that here at this event. 36 to 46 with 50 seconds left in the match at the moment. Now the Blue Alliance is in a position to start taking amplified shots here in the moment. They take some shots high. They could get up to five points per one of those shots. 51 to 36, 33 seconds left in this match. Red Alliance starting to lead right now. 31 to 76, going to look for an amplified shot, able to do so. Maybe five more points for them. 20 seconds left in this match. Robots are now going to start making their way over to their climbing locations. Red Alliance really wanting to get one more note shot up high or in the amplification area as it will help them get to an extra ranking point, but instead 868 going for their trap, something they're known best, and not quite able to do so as time expires.
We have your scores for qualification for match 35. Game number one, hang on to their rank. They do. Red Alliance going to win that 56 to 42. Going to allow 94 and 91 to hold on to that first rank seat position and 868 eight, move up to the seven. That's going to drop purple down to three to a fourth a rank seed. Congratulations to the Red Alliance winning 56 to 42 here in qualification 35 at the Washington District event presented by Toyota and Vincennes University. All right, it is time to make some noise for our Red Alliance. We have team 9453. From Mount Vernon, Indiana, it's the Mount Vernon Wildcats. Joining them in the center, we have team 5402. Your sixth ranked team, tiny but mighty, it's a Reckless Robotics. And finally, we have team 8430. From Washington, Indiana, right here, it's the Hatch Batch. Over on the other side of the field in blue, we have Team 5188. Who are they? It's Classified Area 5188, Classified Robotics. Joining them in the center, we have Team 234. Your third ranked team requesting two Krakens, it's Cyber Blue. And finally, we have Team 3890. With the robot Tony, it's breaking away.
All right, we are ready. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. First 30 seconds, robots moving fully autonomously. All these shots done without any driver interaction. 5402 currently making multiple shots up into their high goal right now, trying to clear all of the close notes so their alliance can focus on notes in the center of the field. 14 to 14 tie game right now as we have two minutes left in this match. 234 are going to focus on amping right now. Their mechanism in the robot allowing them to shoot up into that blue hoop and knock it down into the amp. We're going to put one now, a second one in there. The robot's ready to amplify now as they, they in 5188 look to clear off cycles from the center of the field. Over on the red side of the Lions, they're also looking the same to try and fill up their amp as well. Then get into amplication. Amplication means those high notes shot into the speaker are worth five points instead of two. Right now, 38-90 currently playing defense for the Blue Alliance against the Red Alliance side. 84-30 has been a robot we've seen throughout the day play some defense, some amp cycles, depending on what their alliance partner need for them. However, the blue line is now going to take two more shots up high into the upper speaker. 39 to 19. Blue lines with 14 of the 18 notes needed to get the melody RP. That RP would allow them to rank up faster in this competition, winning this match at two ranking points. An extra ranking point for melody RP and an extra ranking point from climb points at the end would be a full four RP. We've seen that. Only a few times so far this competition. 52 seconds left. 47 to 29. Currently on the field. 5188 looking to take up in a shot high in the upper speaker. Able to do so. 94-53. Trying to push against 38 and 90. They're not able to quite able to do so though. We have 30 seconds left in this match. Once we hit 20 seconds, these stages are going to be extremely dangerous for the opposing alliances to go through as a large amount of penalties can occur. That time means we've got the 20 seconds left in the match. 51 to 31. It's favorite of Blue Alliance. Still can technically switch, though. 54-02 looking away through their stage to try and take another last second shot. Able to get through and looking for that climb. We have your scores for match 36. Your winners, the Blue Alliance. The Alliance winning 57 to 33. It's going to allow 234 to hold on to their third rank seed and allow 5180 to move up to sixth, while 5402 drops down to the ninth rank seed. Big thing that switched that match was the 20 extra points in that speaker from the Blue Alliance. Congratulations to the Blue Alliance winning qualification 36 here at the Washington District event presented by Toyota and Vincennes University. As a reminder, that is the penultimate scheduled match for the day. However, we will have a replay of match seven at the end of the day. Again, we will have a replay of match seven at the end of the day. More coming to you soon. All right, everybody, one last time. I just want to remind you that the student roundtable is going to be starting in just a few minutes at 5.30. Hatchet is going to be talking about sponsor recruiting, building those relationships, not something you want to miss. So head over to the choir room. Again, the student roundtable, 5.30, starting in just a few minutes. So make sure you head over there.
All right, let's meet our next round of teams. Starting us off, we have team 9554. With the newly designed robot for this competition from South Bend, Indiana, it's Portage Pythons. Joining them in the center, we have team 1747. Currently your second ranked team with the robot Jormungander from West Lafayette, Indiana. It's Harrison Boiler Robotics. And finally rounding out our Red Alliance, we have team 6498. With the robot Leonardo da Pinci from Newburgh, Indiana. It's Castle Robotics. We're on the blue side of the field. We have team 4485. From Danville, Indiana, fielding the robot Gaia, it's Tribe Tech Robotics. Next up, we have team 3947. They were your 2023 Finn District Greenwood event district finalists. It's the Last Crusaders. And rounding us out for this match, we have team 74-54. Your winners of the first impact award of the 2023 Finn District at Greenwood event, it's Huskies on Hogs. All right, I'm feeling the excitement, so let's get started. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. Starting off this autonomous period right now. We're taking a couple of high shots. 1747 going to try and come over for one of those center notes. Just positions themselves there. Well, they're not going to shoot an autonomous. They are going to get ready to snatch it up as soon as this period ends. 14 to 12 in favor of your red alliance right now. 44, 85, taking a shot up high. They're going to focus mainly on shooting up into that speaker. The robot equipped for make, taking specifically high gold shots via in ground intake that goes up underneath their bumpers. 39, 47, also having that under the bumper intake. What's unique about that robot, though, is there's actually three separate intakes allowing it to intake from multiple sides of their robot. Seventeen forty-seven, handling a little bit of trouble, picking up a note at the moment, trying to collect that up. If they're not able to do so. You might see them switch over to defense now. With the score currently being twenty-four to eighteen, it's still anyone's game. Sixty-four at ninety-eight, looking to take a note across the side of the field, put it in their amp. Seventeen forty-seven, switching now to defense against. 44-85 and 39-47. Minute 10 seconds left in this match. 24 to 19. Castle Robotics going to look to take a shot high. Able to do so well amplified. That's going to be five big points for the Red Alliance. Now tying it 24 to 24. 55 seconds left in this match. And Harrison Boyle Robotics continuing to fight to prevent the Blue Alliance from being able to move forward and continue to score notes. 26 to 24, Red has pulled ahead. This continual defense able to hold the current score. Now Red with a five point lead, seven point lead ahead, meaning that this will continue to be a drawn out fight match until at the very end when we'll start to see climbs coming in. 25 seconds left in this match.
Last second, Rift sound means robots going to climb. They will be protected in their stage zone. 13 seconds left in this match. Red Alliance wanting to hold on to this. 1747 currently second ranked seed of the competition. Two robots up for blue, two up for red. With cheers in the stands, highly anticipating this match, your winners, the Red Alliance. Red Alliance winning a 43 to 33, allowing 1747 to hold on to that second ranked position. Going to knock down Husky on Hogs down to the ninth ranked position. Congratulations for the Red Alliance winning a 43 to Blues 33. Going to come down to mostly those couple of small point gains over time. That's our last official match today. However, we do have one more replay, so make sure you guys stick around both here and person on Twitch. We'll be back shortly with more robot action.
I heard we wanted one more song. Do we want one more song? I don't know. I'm not sure AV heard you. Do you want one more song? AV, I think we might have to give the people what they want. No, what they demand. All right, let's take it back now to match seven earlier this day. We have a replay. Thank you all for your fantastic moves as we were waiting. Who's ready to meet our teams? There we go. Come on, give it up for team 3890. With the total mental breakdown, it's breaking away. Joining them for this replay, we have 3947. With the robot Wesson from Wilkinson, Indiana, it's the Last Crusaders. And finally, we have team 3452. With the robot Toe Mater from Bering Springs, Michigan, it's the Gringineers. Over across the field in blue, we have team 6498. From Newburgh, Indiana, with the robot Leonardo da Vinci, it's Castle Robotics. Joining them here in the center, we have team 1720. From Matthews, Indiana, it's a fixed gears. And rounding us out for this replay, we have team 9491. Currently fighting to stay as your number one ranked team from Soaksburg, Indiana, it's a Crypto Creek.
Okay, everybody, let's get this replay started. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. This is a replay of match number seven from earlier today. Well, it's currently focusing on autonomous mode right now. 64.98 with the unique auto that goes one preload, one note from the center, and one note from the center of the field. Successful last second score takes the match score to 24 to 12 in favor of your Blue Alliance. 94-19, wanting to make sure they maintain their first ranked seed so they can be in the top premier picking position tomorrow. 64-98 currently focusing on grabbing notes from across the field. Looking to steal a note, being ever so careful to do so without going into their opponent's amp zone. Minute 47 seconds left to match. 25 to 17. Another shot high from 1720. 64 and 98 looking to place another note in their amp. That means they're going to be ready for amplification here in a moment. from 1720. However, 1720 is going to take a shot up high. That's going to be a one note score during the amplification. Another note high. Blue lines 10 extra points from that. A minute and 20 seconds left on the field. These teams looking to continue scoring. 38-90 right now. Going across the field, looking to play a little bit of line defense on Castle Robotics. One minute less than this match, an eight point difference in favor of your Blue Alliance. 10 notes scored for Blue Alliance, eight for Red. Both these teams are looking to get to the eight point threshold. Another high note scored by 1720. Castle placing another note, getting ready for amplification. Red Alliance at 38.90, taking a note across the field. Oh, 39.40 pushes a little bit, but we, with only 34 seconds left in these match, these teams are going to need to continue scoring before the in-game period. A shot from 17.20, but with a broken note, it does not go in to the goal. It is only partially there. 20 seconds left, 47 to 20, 42. Five point difference, meaning in game can definitely matter here. 94, 91, able to pull, trying to get themselves pulled up. Castle looking to also climb with them. Six seconds left. Can we get a last second park from them? Last second climb. And two up for the Blue Alliance. We have scores from qualification match number seven replay. Your winners, the Blue Alliance. 56 to 46. That means Blue Alliance, everyone want to keep the exact same ranks as before. 94, 91, hanging on to their first rank position. With that, that is going to end our matches for today. Pitts will... Still remaining open, though, for a little while longer. As for you in the audience and our lovely Twitch streamers back at home, safe rest of your night for you. We'll see you uh, early tomorrow morning for more robot action. Forget everything I said. Devin Langley, your MC, with some more important announcements. Hey there, everybody. Hey, raise your hand if you had fun today. Make some noise if you're excited to do it all again tomorrow. Well, I know I had a great time today watching all of you shine on the field. And of course, I saw all of your gracious professionalism come through. Thank you so much for that. And thank you to all of our volunteers who made this weekend possible. You all really put it all on the table today and all of your hard work is paying off. I know Alliance Selection is gonna be so much fun tomorrow. Just real quick, just to let you all know, match videos are gonna be on the first Indiana Robotics YouTube channel tonight, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow morning. Opening ceremonies start at 9.30 a.m. 
And to, as for tonight, pits close at 8 p.m. So go work on your robots and get ready for tomorrow. It's time for us to power down. We'll see you in the morning.